I will show you the most common minecart unloader and also a high speed variant. At the end of our raid track we need a hopper which takes items out of a hopper or chest minecart. We put a barrel rail on top and a block next to it. Now we need a simple redstone circuit. This comparator will be on as long as there are items in the hopper. This torch powers this block and through this repeater this block gets powered which activates the powered rail. If this hopper moves items this redstone comparator will switch this torch off and thus the bowed rail. And if the minecart is completely empty it will get sent back. There is also a second way of building this just in case you haven't got enough space back there. It's once again a redstone comparator, a torch and a redstone on top. So this one is even easier to build. Now let's try this out. It takes a fully loaded hopper minecart 2 minutes to unload. A completely filled chest minecart takes 11 and a half minutes, which is not very practical. So there are different ways of making this faster. A hopper can only transport 2.5 items a second. There's no way we can change this. But we can use a hopper minecart instead. It can transfer 20 items a second. Now there are two aspects, unloading speed and processing speed. So what does that mean? The most basic variant is the following one. We put the hopper two blocks below. We place a rail on top and put the hopper minecart on it. Now we break the rail so that the minecart is just standing there. Now we need to get a block inside the minecart which is really simple. We can just drop a sand, gravel or concrete powder block on the minecart. We could also use a piston to push a block down. Just like this. Or you can push a block in from a side. Just make sure there's a block behind otherwise you would move the minecart. As always we put the powered rail on top. If we now push a fully loaded hopper minecart on it, it will be empty after 16 seconds. Now the unloading speed means exactly that. The minecart will be empty after 16 seconds, but the hopper below is way slower. That's what they call processing speed and we can further increase both. I will explain the redstone for sending the minecart back in a minute. So let's increase the amount of hopper minecarts. We once again place a rail. And now we place not just one hopper minecart, but let's say 5, 2, 3, 4, 5 and break the rail. A block on top and the rails as usual. Now let's try this again with a fully loaded hopper minecart. As you remember, a hopper minecart can transfer 20 items a second. 5 hopper minecarts can transfer 100 items a second. So unloading takes 3.2 seconds. Now let's try this again with a chest minecart. The last blocks are moving really slowly. The reason for that is quite simple. All those hopper minecarts are full and this hopper below is our bottleneck. If we don't care about the processing speed, we just need to put 6 hopper minecarts there. They will be able to hold the content of a full chest minecart. And for a hopper minecart, there's obviously a single one enough. But we can add even more for further unloading speed. Now we know how to increase the unloading speed, so let's talk about the processing speed. A hopper can transfer 2.5 items a second. And we can't change this. So the only way is to add more hoppers. This time we place two hoppers. We place a rail and a minecart on top of one. And now we push the minecart so that its hitbox is overlapping with both hoppers. It doesn't even matter by how far it is overlapping. Now we put concrete powder on top. The hoppers will take 5 items per second out of the hopper minecart. So both hoppers can fill items into a double chest or we build two parallel hopper lines to transfer the items somewhere. This way we double the processing speed, but we're far not done yet. We can once again put more than one hopper minecart in there. When we push them around it might be hard though to position them right. So we can use any fence gate to stop them in an overlapping position. This way we could even get a single hopper minecart to feed 4 hoppers for extra processing speed. Now I'll show you the most overkill unloader using 9 hoppers. We start by placing the hoppers. Now we need 4 rails and on each spot at least one hopper minecart.
we place two fan scales like this to position them in one direction. With the piston we can push the minecarts. We do this with every single one. Just make sure to break the piston in the extended state, otherwise you will pull the minecart right back. And now we have to position them in the other direction. In the center we once again need a fence gate and one piston like this. Now we can fill in blocks. And put the rails on top. This is where the minecart will stop. As we can see it overlaps with all 4 hopper minecarts. And all of them overlap with at least one hopper. We are not limited by the amount of hopper minecarts we can put in each spot. Let's try with 5 hopper minecarts on every rail. This way we can unload a full chest minecart in just 4.3 seconds. That's what I call a fast minecart unloader. Now let's build the redstone. In the first contraption we were using a signal from the hopper to detect if there are items in the minecart remaining. This is for many reasons not possible anymore. We cannot measure the amount of items in the hopper or the hopper minecart and it wouldn't make sense as well. We could measure the amount of items in the container above with a detector rail and a comparator. If there are items left the redstone will be on. But we need a power grid instead to send the minecart back. So the best way is to time it. A detector rail like this triggers if a minecart is arriving. Now we can calculate how long it takes a fully loaded hopper or chest minecart to be empty. A hopper minecart has 5 slots with 64 items each. So we divide 5 times 64 by the amount of hopper minecarts below, multiplied by 20 items per second. If you are using a chest minecart, you can do the same. Instead of 5 slots, we've got 9 times 3 slots, which is 27. For this setup, it's 4.32 seconds. So we need a redstone delay of 4.3 seconds plus the time it takes the minecart to travel from the detector to the unloading spot. A repeater has a delay of 0.1 seconds and it can be up to 0.4 seconds. For our setup, we need a delay of 4.5 seconds. So now there's only one quicker method possible. It's destroying the minecart. The only downside until now is that the minecart and the chest will drop as two separate items. This way we cannot dispense it right back on track. But this might change with the new 1.19 update. So there will be an extra video if that works.